Hi guys. Alright, we're going to do something <laughs> here that I have never done on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, or I have never done this in my entire life. We're getting ready to get really fucking dark on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. It is a Tuesday night, December 22nd. 2021 so uh as you guys probably know my arch enemy lulu uh it was good lord guys it's been three months since lulu uh did me the favor of uh coming in here lying down on her living room couch blowing her fucking brains out, which, uh, which opened up all sorts of possibilities in my life, and, uh, so anyway, I've been down here for six weeks, and for, like, the first two weeks here, um, I mean, it totally creeped me out just to walk into this house for about the first two weeks, but you know, uh, especially on a cold night like tonight, when it's damn freezing out there and it's nice and warm in here, I am actually beginning to, for the first time in my life, enjoy Lulu's company. I never thought I would say it's been a long road, but Without her fucking mouth running, uh, you know, she's not, Lulu's not all that bad. I just, uh, you know, I know I've, I've talked trash about the woman, but, you know, the, the woman, uh, she left me a, a whole kitchen full of food here. Uh, literally, this woman, Lulu, has saved me and or made me thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, this woman, Lulu, has uh, just gifted me with many thousands of dollars. Seriously. Uh, and, and so, I have actually started choosing to spend more time in this empty house at the end of the road in, uh, in the Point Lonesome Swamp uh, that, you know, it, it used to be this couch where she, uh, that you're looking at where she blew her brains out, this blood-soaked, brain-spattered couch that's still here. Now, I've thrown a blanket over it, as you can see, uh, so we're not actually looking at the blood and the spatter and whatnot. I guess the cops had kind of wrapped up the cushions or whatnot, and I threw a blanket over it. And so I was really freaking out that we need to get the couch out of here. But you know, guys, I've been here six weeks, and... I'm actually started, the couch has started to grow on me. Uh, the, the spirit of Lulu in this house, uh, my friend, uh, you know, my, my uh, Trump Tard friend from Austin, she's coming here to visit and, and, and she is absolutely just freaking out. I mean, she doesn't, you know, she's nervous about even staying on my property next door, uh, that she is so creeped out by this. I had a, uh, a another buddy today, uh, saying, Hambone, uh, you, you're, you know, get the fuck out of that house that judging by your videos recently that you're somehow 
bringing in the negative energy of that woman and uh I don't know uh, that that Lulu is is sending me a message from the couch or whatever. So uh, anyway, guys. Uh, so this is actually where she did it. Now I have never actually sat on this couch. I am getting ready to, uh, if someone had told me six weeks ago I'm getting ready to do what I am getting ready to do. You know, this is literally where this woman what, so I guess her head was, they, they threw away the really disgusting pillow is not here. You know, her head was here, so she put the gun to her right temple. Her head was here, she put the gun to her right temple, and, uh, you know, it's just really weird to actually be on the couch where some, you know, somebody you knew. Uh, I, I have been a, uh, a student of suicide since I was 18 and uh, I've got a lot of respect for people killing themselves. Uh, you, you know, the, these people who, who act like suicides are cowards. It takes a lot of fucking balls to do what Lulu did. It takes a lot of fucking balls to take a gun, put it to your fucking head and pull the trigger and let your fucking brains go blowing all over the fucking living room. Uh, it takes more balls than I fucking have, that's for goddamn sure. I would have been dead when I was 18 years old. What I think I need to do before they haul this couch out, what I, what I really need to do is get my hand on some mushrooms and, and, take, uh, and take five grams of mushrooms and uh, lie on this couch and soak in the energy. I want to feel like, I mean, I, I really want to literally soak in the energy of, of, of someone who had the fucking balls to do that. Uh, maybe I will, uh, maybe over the next couple of weeks I will actually work up the energy to sleep on this couch. I mean, I literally want to soak up I, 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 I want to feel I don't know what I want to feel uh, it's just uh, you, you know to to try to put myself in, in the situation of, of, of what literally goes through a person's head. How long, how long did Lulu lie here? Uh, what was the last thought in her head before she uh, pulled that fucking trigger? Now Lulu is a lot of things, but I never called the woman stupid. She wasn't stupid, she wasn't irrational. You know what I'm saying? She was not psychotic. She was a whole lot of things. She, I mean, she was mentally ill, obviously. She was uh, bipolar, probably borderline personality. But she wasn't irrational. She knew goddamn well what she was doing. 
and I, I don't really pick up any ghost energy in this house. Uh, I mean, you would you would think lying on a uh, on a fucking blood soaked brain splattered couch. If that doesn't uh, get you to pick up any ghost energy, but actually find it quite calming. This has taken me six weeks to work up the courage to do what I'm doing here. It's actually quite calming. I feel a... Uh, I'm getting a very calming presence that uh, you know, she was 51 years old. She had 51 years of, of rage, of grief, of, of absolute uh, hopelessness. Uh, and she put an end to it. And I just wonder, you know, what I was talking about in my rant today, all of this shit about, uh, <clears throat> is she going, is she going to suffer more for putting herself out of her misery? That's exactly what she was doing. She was putting herself out of her misery. She was genuinely a miserable human being. And, and, and I'm using that term literally. She was a miserable human being. Uh, and the only vibe I am getting off of this couch is actually a very peaceful vibe. I don't feel any sort of malevolent energy, I, which was the only energy I ever felt from her. For the first time in my life, I am, I am picking up on a, uh, on, if I'm picking up energy at all, there, there's no, there, there's, no there, there's nothing malevolent about it. Uh, I, I am picking up a, uh, the, the, the whole fucking energy of this house, of this property. It, it has been completely uh, rewired. It's a pretty damn comfortable couch. I'm not quite ready to actually spend the night and dream with my head lying on uh, the, the brain spatter of Lulu, but uh, I feel no trace of grief for this tortured soul. Not one trace of grief.
I feel like I'm in the presence of uh, just a, a And, and well, I, I, it, it's just an absence of grief and rage. I mean, the woman radiated rage and grief and hatred out of every cell of her body because she hated herself. Her self-loathing. Uh, she took out on everybody she met in this toxic stew. I mean, everybody she encountered, she uh, unloaded this, uh, th th this bottomless pit of, of, of self-hatred. And whatever you can say about suicide, it's, the, it's an answer to a problem. And uh, I think it was the right answer for Lulu. Uh, I don't know if that woman is being punished by some higher power for putting herself out of her fucking misery. I don't blame her for it. She did herself and, and a whole lot of people a big fucking favor. It was, it, it, it was the most selfless act she could do. She, she released a lot of people from a lot of strain and stress by removing herself out of their lives. I mean, it was an absolute blessing to me, and I absolutely appreciate it. Lulu, if you are listening to me, girl, uh, I, I, I mean, literally from the bottom of my heart, this is not some sick, twisted joke. You know, on, on one sick level, I mean, she, she and I were friends. Uh, you, you, you know, I mean, I spent more time with Lulu uh, probably than, than with any other single human being last year. And I had more direct interaction with the woman. And uh, there were a few precious moments when she would, 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 would lay down the fucking drama. And, uh, you know, be halfway decent for ten minutes. And she was actually quite funny when she wanted to be. And, you know, when, we, when the hip campers were here, she was absolutely charming uh, as a hip camp host that I, uh, you know, she was the consummate hostess. Uh, so she could control that behavior when she needed to. Uh, so is it a shame that that woman uh, ended up going out the violent way she did? I don't know. It was, it, 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 it was the only, you know, it was the only it was the only option. It was the obvious exit strategy for her was to go out violently uh, in, in one fucking boom. But uh, anyway, Lulu, uh, here's to you, girl. Uh, you were quite the. Uh, <laughs> I will be uh, factoring what it was, you know, of course, Don Juan Matus and Carlos Castaneda would say that Lulu was one of the great teachers of my life. Uh, she was a petty tyrant. Well, she was actually more than petty. She was a true tyrant. And... Uh, you know, if a, a warrior on the spiritual path can learn to live 
with someone like Lulu, you can take whatever the fucking universe throws at you. If you can, if you can take Lulu, anything else the universe wants to throw at me, I, I don't care what kind of fucking psycho bitch, uh, whatever that this that this world wants to throw at me. Uh, sorry, Dulcinea, if you're listening to this, you're a fucking piker compared to Lulu. Uh, she was truly in a class by herself. And uh, I would never go so far as to say I miss Lulu, but I actually will be sorry to see this couch go. Uh, I really will. I, I, <laughs> this couch has become my friend and uh, I will be spending more and more time uh, at least in this house and uh, maybe even on this couch. But anyway, uh, get out there and make friends with the ghosts of suicide in your life. Uh, suicide is not the tragedy that uh, people make it out to be. The only reason I am not a suicide is because I'm a chicken shit, which is a short way of summing up everything I've ever said about the reason uh, I haven't killed myself, because I'm a fucking chicken shit is why I haven't killed myself. Anyway. All right. Can't wait to hear the comments on this one. My buddy from Austin, uh, <laughs> he told me uh, he will never listen to a Humpty Dumpty Drive video again and I I, I hope he doesn't see this one because it might upset him. Uh, I'm quite sure my friend coming to visit who's all freaked out being within a hundred foot radius of this couch. Uh, I can only imagine what she would say if she sees this video, but there's no chance because she doesn't watch Humpty Dumpty Tribe. But anyway, I'm going to get back to watching Omeletto uh, videos if you are not familiar with Omeletto. You need to change that. Uh, I would like to write a script for Omeletto about Lulu. In the blood. You don't want to see it. Oh God. Anyway, girl. Rest in peace, darling. I honestly think you are at peace. Bye, guys. Let's see how my dreams go tonight. Can't wait to uh, see what shows up in my dreams tonight. Dream on. Bye, guys.